we have learned that displacement tells us how an object has moved, and position tells us where an object is located. We've also learned that displacement, which is called change in position, is really just final position minus initial position. In fact, as soon as you write this delta symbol, you know that whatever comes next is changing. As you grow taller, your height changes. As your coffee cools up, cools off, its temperature changes. And every delta is simply the final value minus the initial. Let's use this information to solve the problem at hand. A bug is sitting on the ground near a rock. It starts to move. First, it crawls five meters to the right. What would you underline in that sentence? What would you highlight? You might think I need to highlight five meters and I need to highlight right because to the right is positive. But there is another word you want to highlight in that first, uh, first portion. You want to highlight the word crawls. As soon as you see crawls, you know we're talking about movement, not location. Okay, so let's highlight crawls as well. Then the bug crawls. Let's highlight crawls. Bug crawls 1.5 meters to the left. We know left means negative. Lastly, it crawls once more. That's important. It crawls. 2.5 meters to the right. At this point, the bug stops and is located. That's a different word than crawl. Is located 3.5 meters to the left of the rock. Now, you may try to solve this problem by drawing a picture. And in fact, that probably would work. But we don't want to get into that habit. And here's the reason. For more complex problems down the road, we need to be able to rely on the math. So before we start in with the math, we list our givens. We have five meters to the right, so positive five. We also have 1.5 meters to the left, so I make it negative. 2.5 meters to the right, positive. 3.5 meters to the left negative. Writing the values like I've done is it's a good start, but it's not enough. We have to identify these. Notice the first three values all were referred to using the word crawl. There it is again, crawl. And then again here, crawl. Because the bug is moving, these are displacements, changes in position. When the bug crawls, its position changes. Now, we want to have a way to distinguish the first from the second from the third, so we add a subscript one, two, and three. Is this last value a displacement? Let's read again. The bug stops and is located 3.5 meters to the left. Location, that's a hint. Negative 3.5 meters is position. But look up at the equation. Is this the final position or the initial? Because this is the location at the end, after the displacements, this must be final. Now that we have these values, we can solve. We use the equation delta x is equal to x final minus x initial. And we see, hey, we're looking to calculate the horizontal position before it starts moving. Find the position before, find x initial. That's our unknown. And so we use this equation here. And you might think, well, hang on. There's not just one displacement. Which one do I use? And you could probably figure out or guess. If there are three displacements, then we have to add them together. Add the three. That's equal to x final minus x initial. Use parentheses like this. It's a good practice to get into. Good habit. 
So we have positive 5, we have negative 1.5, positive 2.5, and then this, what's this, x final or x initial? Oh yeah, this is x final. Do I know x final? Yes, I do. It's right there in my chart. Negative 3.5. And right here I put x initial, which is my unknown. I do not know x initial, so I don't plug in for it. So this is pretty straightforward, right? We have one equation with one unknown, x initial. And we can simply solve. What I'm going to do is add 3.5 to the other side. So what's this going to be? I've got negative 1, negative 2.5. This is positive 2.5 equals x initial, right? Hang on, I made a mistake. Did you make it too? Positive 2.5 is negative x initial. There's a negative sign that I have not yet fixed or taken care of. So the final answer we get by multiplying. There's one last step. We have to multiply both sides by negative 1 to get rid of the negative on the right side. And now we have the final answer of negative 2.5. The final thing we want to check is sig figs. Each given had two sig figs. Two sig figs here, two sig figs here, here and here. So make sure your final answer has two sig figs, and yes it does. That's how we calculate the displacement. The distance is almost the same calculation, d total. The only difference is when we add up the different distances, can distance be negative? No, it cannot. You might recall that we do not let distance be negative. We add the three values once more. Put every single one, whether it's 5 or 1.5 or 2.5, they should all be positive. So this is going to give us an answer of 9.0 meters. Notice how I got the correct number of sig figs. The final thing I want, I want to point out um, is that the distance did not utilize this number. Why not? The answer is distance traveled refers to movement. And what tells us about movement? It's the displacement. The final position is just where the bug is located. The bug hasn't moved 3.5 meters to the left. That's not a traveled distance. It's just the location. That's why we exclude it when calculating total distance. Thanks for watching this video.